Details of a malicious murder continue to unfold tonight. A 72-year-old Bucks County mother drugged and then shot to death, allegedly by her 28-year-old son. He pointed investigators to a shed in Philadelphia where they found his mother's body. Action News reporter Annie McCormick is live in Falls Township with the very latest. Annie. Yeah, and Rick, authorities say the son, who is the suspect in custody, has admitted to the crime, but they're still trying to figure out why he did it. A grisly scene in Frankfurt after investigators discovered the body of 72-year-old Carol Clark in this shed behind a behavioral center in the 4300 block of Wall Street. Authorities say her son, 28-year-old Sean Rivera, confessed to shooting his mother multiple times at that Frankfurt location after he drugged her in her Bucks County home. According to the affidavit, Rivera told detectives he purchased the fentanyl specifically to give to his mother. And prior to a Allegedly shooting Clark, the affidavit states Rivera noted that Clark was conscious but in a lethargic state from the fentanyl. Gruesome. Yeah. That you would, you know, try to incapacitate your mother and then, uh, you know, roll her out to the car, have to get her into the car, take her out of the car. Clark's neighbors along the 500 block of Berwyn Road in Morrisville watched as the investigation unfolded. Well, I saw him get into a detective's SUV or something, and him and two cops left. And after that, more just flooded the street. Tow truck came, took their car, and uh, you can see like flashlights going around in the, the house and stuff like that. Investigators say Clark's other son reported her missing after receiving an emergency text from Rivera, but his brother would not reveal where their mom was. Authorities believe Rivera drugged her Saturday night. Sunday morning, he sent a text to his brother, and by early Monday morning, Clark was found and pronounced dead. In a search of the home, authorities found two guns they believe belonged to Rivera and keys and receipts for padlocks used on the shed. And Rick, tonight Rivera faces a slew of charges, including kidnapping and murder. Reporting live in Falls Township, Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Rick. All right, Annie, thank you.